shared this little Christmas tree snack tray a couple of days ago in stories and I had so many people say, that is so cute. Um, this is part of a new post up on devandanelle.com. I rounded up a bunch of items that you could give to a hostess or someone who just loves to entertain. Not only do I have a lot of items listed for gifts, but I also have included different things that you can do with these items, um, like within your decor. They all are from JCPenney, which I cannot believe the prices. They are having this huge Black Friday sale and um, you need to check it out. This cute little Christmas tree uh, snack tray is perfect for just that, snacks, cheese, crackers, etc. And I believe this is under $20 for the sale. I'm going to link this here. You can do so much more with this. Lean it up against the wall within your decor, um, and then you can grab it and use it as needed. You could set it beside your stove, use it for a spoon rest. You could put it on your coffee table or side table for a coaster. This would look really pretty on top of a stack of old ironstone platters. Um, I always tell you guys this, when you have things like this in your decor, it not only looks pretty, but you will use them if they are um, displayed. This wood paddle or board is another excellent hostess gift idea or um, a gift idea for yourself. <laughs> I love these. They're so versatile. Um, they look really pretty in decor, and then you can use these also in entertaining. A few other things that I came up with with this would be uh, not only for food, um, but hang it on a wall from this to give a little interest in your kitchen. You could stack white plates on this, and it would really accent them. Um, and again, you will go to grab this every time because it is out and displayed. I am going to link that post here. There are so many different items with different ways to use them. Um, and check out JCPenney's Black Friday sale. It is huge. They have the best stuff. I kind of went wild on my gift giving this year from JCPenney. All right, this is what I got. I actually had to stop. Stop. I did this um, earlier this morning, but um, I'm not done. I had to work actually. But um, I had gotten these. Um, I saw them. Um, I wasn't on here much yesterday because I was watching my three little grandsons, which I love so, so much. They are in the fun stage where they can't pronounce their words and just, they're just so cute. But I do have to say this, if you're 55, 54 watching your grandkids, hats off to you because I got home last night and I was exhausted. So let me tell you why. I was welcomed with full on excitement from them in the morning. They like were so excited to see Grammy. We sat down immediately and got right into the building blocks and all of that kind of stuff. They were just full of energy in the morning. With that said, at one point, I went out to the garage to get something out of the deep freeze for lunch, and the youngest followed me, which he is, what does he want to? I don't, something like that. Anyway, so he got on his tricycle while I was in the deep freeze, and then I said, okay, we gotta go in, it's cold. He wouldn't wanna come in, so I said, let's just bring the tricycle in. So that's what we did, we brought it in. He isn't really, can't really touch the ground or the pedals yet, so basically just sits on it, but he was able to get his body going enough that it would. 
So he was doing his thing, and then all of a sudden he got caught on some toys that were laying on the ground. And sooner or later, I don't know how, I don't know why, he flipped his bike forward over the handlebars and fell on the ground, and he was screaming, screaming. I didn't rush right over because he seems to be a little dramatic, so I thought he's just going to get up and go, but... Went over, picked him up, was, you know, doing the things, and family calmed down, and we were good. So, you know, that was one. Well, in the meantime, I think the second one thought, hmm, Grammy's busy. So he got a chair, his little chair from his table and chair set, and drug it back to the bathroom, and out he came with some toothbrushes comes out with these three toothbrushes and they had suction cups on him and he's sitting at the bar and I'm you know still kind of babying Atlas and I thought to myself in my head huh I wonder how he got those so he had three of them right so he was sitting there brushing his teeth with all three of them and then we wonder why the kids are always sick all the time passing things around <laughs> anyway so Atlas Atlas was just climbing on stuff all day he's just in that phase I'm telling you these three boys are the sweetest most respectful kind boys ever they say please and thank you for everything you do for them they're they're just boys and I'm used to girls girls should give them a Barbie and a baby and they sat on the floor and they just do their thing and boys are just climbing everywhere I'm just not used to it so we had a fun day nobody got hurt um, but I have to say grandma was exhausted so for you who babysit your grandkids on a daily basis my hats go off to you keep it up and i know the grandkids love you for it deb said she really isn't that sad gone gone and she's taking the one that's down in there and she's taking this one next anybody remember this do you remember this? Brings back a little bit of bad memories. Does that help you? <laughs> Why? No, where it was originally. Oh. Okay, maybe you guys know. I know where it was originally, but Deb said that it was it there. Was, I think it was somewhere in the rental. There was a plug on it, so we had it in the rental. I don't remember. Does anybody remember where that was at? Because neither of us do. Uh, I had no clue those were going to be that big. Uh, yeah. Let's go. It's pretty cool, though. It is really cool. It looks old. These aren't the ones that I canceled yesterday. This is a totally different one. Um, but I'm going to, we're going to take this over to the house and see if we can find a place for it. Don't look at the junk all over our room. Um, but this mirror, I don't even remember where. We've had it forever. But I think we're going to use this in the bathroom. So this is going to be another thing that we need to take over there here in the next couple days. So I want to share. I'll, I'll run over there and show you where I want it. This is where I'm thinking about putting that big mirror that's in the bedroom. I'm going to measure this because it doesn't look like it's going to be wide enough. So... That might be an issue. So <laughs> this is where I ordered three of those lights and they're pretty close together. So I thought, oh, I like these two. So I ordered this one. I think that one is, I think it's too big. And I don't like the black in here, okay. believe it or not. So let's see if there's another place. This is another spot I thought about putting them. So we have, we're not gonna have, um, end, or, lamps on the end tables now that might be cool like, would they be down by here? i'd put them down like in front of the window keep going down right so there flip the closet and see that. that would be really cool we'll see about those but i only got one of these because i wanted to see it there's one more possibility she found the snack the other possibility <clears throat> 
is right here. We do have a chandelier that we were going to put here, but um, that one might work there. I have tried approximately 762 bed pillows that all hurt my neck. Well, I tried one by SleepSure probably about two or three months ago. I absolutely love it. And I just looked, they are having a 50% off flash sale with free shipping. So you guys need to know about this. So I sleep on my side and my back. So I kind of go side, back, side, back, kind of like that all night. My problem was when I would find a pillow that was comfortable for my side, it was high enough. And then when I would turn over, my neck was like extended like that. And I would wake up with a terrible headache. If you have not tried this pillow, you must. So do you see how the sides are like this? And then it kind of dips here in the middle. Perfect for sleeping on your side. It supports my neck. And then when I flip over on my back, it provides um, support that way too. And does not like force my neck forward material is breathable and it's not really hard. I've had some that are really hard and it's also not really, really soft. It's, this is just perfect. Um, the outer cover has a zipper so you can take it off and wash it as well. I am serious. I have tried so many pillows and donated all of them because they were miserable. <laughs> This is my all-time favorite. I'm going to put the link here again. You guys try it. 50% off uh, flash sale with free shipping. Tap through my link. Also, these are the two that are going here. I can't even tell you how much I love them. They are, I've, they look like they're low, but you have to remember the ceilings are 10 feet tall. This fireplace mantle, my head, I can stand under this with about this much more and I'm five, five. So I'd say this is six foot. So these are up about seven feet but they look really cool because they're kind of like dangling jewels from the ceiling. And you might be asking what Deb is doing. She is not wiring them. We have to um, figure out where we want these and what she is doing is making them longer if they need to. And we are hanging, or she's just hanging them from a hook. She's not wiring them, but she's hanging them from a hook at the correct, um, length. So there will be no question. So all the electrician has to do is hook them up.